Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about how you can pass functions down to children or uh, in this case, grandchildren components. Um, and then you can go ahead and call them from uh, said children or grandchildren. All right, so let's get right into this. Uh, this is just a Next.js app uh, scaffolded right here. Really nothing other than these three uh, components in this components folder here uh, and if we look at our index.js that's kind of our entry point where we have uh, our parent component so if we check this out we got our parent in here in the index and then there we have uh, the parent which has our first child and you can see on the right here uh, kind of this uh, tree of um, uh, components right here so we got our parent in there, we have a child, and then if we go into uh, this child right here, we have our grandchild, which is right there. So what we're gonna do here is just create a basic function where maybe we'll add a two numbers or something together, uh, and we'll create that in the uh, parent component here. Uh, and then what we'll try to do is call that uh, from our grandchild. So we're gonna pass that as props down to our child and then further to our grandchild. So enough talk, let's go and do this. So right now we're already bringing in state right here. All right, so let's create some state. So we'll say const and we will say uh, count and set count like that. And then that'll be equal to use state like this. And we'll just set the initial count to zero like that. Now let's come down uh, right below here and we're gonna create a function here. So we'll say function and we'll just say uh, add two to the number. So we're just gonna say add and all we're gonna do is add two to a uh, particular number that we're passing in. So we can come in here and then from here, we're gonna set the count and we'll just say uh, the num coming in uh, and we'll just add two to whatever num that is like that. Okay, so super basic um, function right there, but basically we're gonna show you how we can pass this function down to our child and eventually our uh, grandchild. So let's uh, come in here. Uh, first, we'll just do an H2 like this and we'll just put the count here so we can see it just like that. Okay, now in order to pass this function, we can just pass it in just like any other prop. So we can say add two like that and just say that is going to be add to as well. Okay, so if we go ahead and save that, uh, we can see on the right hand side right now, we have our zero count, uh, and then we're passing this function down. So now inside of our child right here, uh, we can now bring this in up just as regular props. So we can destructure this just like any other props. So we can say add to, uh, even though it's a function, and then we can come down here and we wanna pass this along one more time just to show you that we can uh, pass it down multiple layers. So we'll say add two again, and that's gonna be equal to add two also. And we can close that off. Okay, now we're down to our uh, final step right here in our grandchild. So we can come in here and we can bring it in again. So we'll just say add two like that. And then we can come in here and we can really call this function any way uh, that we would like. We could use something like use effect um, or we could do like on a button click or something. So let's show you uh, both ways here. So we'll just come in here and let's just add a button just like this. And we'll just say add uh, two just like this. And then we're gonna have an on click right here in order to call this. So we will say uh, on click and that is going to be uh, an arrow function like that and we'll just say add to and we'll pass in remember we have to pass in a number here because that's how our function looks like uh, so we'll just say 100 to start and if we go ahead and save that now we come over here we can see we got our button right here uh, we can go ahead and click that and we get 102 just like that so that is uh, looking pretty good um, now, another way we might want to call that, we could bring in uh, use effect like this and call it any time uh, on first load that our function loads. So we could say use effect and we will uh, set this up with an arrow function like this. And then inside here, we'll just say add to and we will uh, we can pass in a different number. So say 300 
And then finally, we just wanna run it on the initial uh, load. So we'll just pass in the empty array like that. So that is good. And then you can see it's uh, reflected automatically on our right hand side right there. Now this will change and I'll go uh, 102 because we still got uh, this function being called if we press that button. But if we reload again, 302, just like that. Okay, so just to go over how you can uh, do this again, we got our parent, this is where we're creating our function. Then we are passing it down to our child, which is uh, passing it down to our grandchild. Inside this grandchild, we are calling it either with a button click or just on the use effect. So that is basically how you can pass functions down as props in React. So one common time this might pop up is if you have a modal and you want to do something on a click. Uh, so you might have your modal in your uh, parent component and you might want to show it and hide it uh, in one of those children. So that could be uh, one reason you might want to do something like this, but I'm sure there are plenty others. Anyways, that is how you pass functions to uh, children components in React. Thanks for watching.